Welcome back. Let's start with political matters. Madagascar's leader, Andri Rajolin, has ignored a request by the South African regional bloc not to run in upcoming elections. Now, he says it's up to the people of the island to decide whether or not he should stand for the presidency. Last week, Friday, the South African Development Community called on the incumbent to abstain from the July 24th elections. Those polls are meant to end a four-year political impasse, and Sadiq believes that they are absolutely critical to restoring peace on the Indian Ocean island. Sadiq also argues that it would be, and I'm quoting here, unwise for the wife of Madagascar's ousted leader, Mark Ravlomanana, to stand for election. The two candidates are considered, uh, the two candidates rather, are considered to be invalid by Sadak, despite being cleared by the country's special electoral court. Madagascar, of course, has been in a political deadlock since Rajoline came into power in 2009, ousting his arch rival, who has vowed not to stand in the elections later in July. We don't want an election which has exclusions or inclusions. The Malagasy people just need to go to the polls and should trust the polls. The verdict of the polls will reflect the desire of the people of Madagascar.